Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we are going to discuss about the lateral moving of your head during the swing, what are the implications of this bad habit, and most importantly, how we can sort it easy. Let me quickly demonstrate the swing where I'm going to move my head laterally, and you're gonna see what that implies on the swing. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna tell you that there are three cases when we do this bad habit. So first one is going to be when you move your head towards your trail side and the head is gonna stay or remain behind the golf ball and that's gonna make you hit the ground before it. Second one is when you go back but you manage to compensate enough to actually strike the ball. And the third case is going to be when you move your head back but then in the downswing you move it so far forward that you might actually top the ball. So these are going to be the three cases and these are all going to vary when you go out and play on the course. That's why consistency of strike when you move your head laterally is going to be a really key issue. So I'm just going to demonstrate one of the cases when you go back with your head and stay back with it resulting in a fat shot. As you could see, I'm already falling back because the weight is too much. On my trail side, the strike with the ball was okay because of the mat, which made the club jump into the ball. But you could see throughout that swing that the weight and the low point of the swing stood always behind the golf ball. And simply because my head moved in the same time with the turn that I made. And that's gonna imply a change in the position of the low point of the swing. I am sure it was very easy to understand the principles of this bad habit and how it can influence the striking ability in your golf swing. Now, I'm going to show you a drill for which you will require an alignment stick and half a basket with golf balls. Now, you can do this drill even in your house without using a club because it's gonna give you instant feedback as well. So, if you have a place like mine, you can hit shots as well, so it's, it's a bonus. I want you to place the basket right in front of your place where you would put the golf ball. So if I would take the golf ball, it will stay right behind the basket. Now I want you to put the stick in a way that you are not going to hit it with your hands or with the golf club. So if you put the stick through the basket, you're gonna see that it stays at a decent height so you can't touch it with the club. And now I want you to place the ball right under the stick. So if you look at the ball, you're gonna see the stick running over it. Now, let's take a club. So if I would take my setup at the ball, now I can see that the stick, it's right over the golf ball. So it's kind of splitting it in half. If we do the wrong move where the head moves laterally, left or right, you're gonna have an instant feedback in the following way. So if I'll move to my trail side while I'm doing the backswing, I can already observe that I can see the ball and the stick is not cutting the ball in half anymore. So that means that my head moved that way. Now if you move too much on your left side, you're gonna see again the same case, the alignment stick is not over the golf ball anymore. So if I would do a swing and I'm just trying to move my head, you'll see that it's gonna look like something like that. So I can see the ball now without the stick over it. And if I would go and hit it, the strike is compromised. I move too much laterally with my head. Now, let's take another golf ball and I'm gonna show you how to do the drill in a way that is gonna help you and provide you some good feedback. So let's take the setup again at the ball. I'm gonna have the ball placed under the alignment stick. And when I'm doing my back swing, I want you to focus on the following aspect, to keep your head in the same place and have the alignment stick over the golf ball at all times. And that backswing is going to look like this. So if I would go and keep my head over, now I can see that the stick is not actually moving over the ball. Now I'm at the top of the backswing and you can still see, so I, I can still see that the alignment stick is right over the ball, it's still slicing the golf ball in two. So that means that I maintained my head in the same position, I just rotated around my spine. And even when I do this move, you can actually observe that I'm not moving my head, just I'm rotating around my spine. 
This drill will give you instant feedback and it will teach you how to make a turn in the backswing while maintaining the center of gravity over the golf ball, which hopefully over time is going to help you strike the ball so much better than you are actually doing it now. I'm gonna demonstrate one more shot. What you have to look for, it's how my head stays still during the swing. There you have it, it's that simple to become a better striker of the golf ball. You just need a basket with golf balls and an alignment stick. And together they are gonna provide you with a fantastic drill. If you like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. It just means that our community gets bigger. A bigger community means better interaction between us and you behind the screen. In a way that we can create better content for you, the content you are looking for, and most importantly, we can improve your game together.